Okay, guys, you might wonder, what do I mean by pacifist trend? Well, actually, since the North Lethal Tempo, I just realized that any play that used to be close is now going to be losing because it was close and now you're losing so much value. So, of course, you're going to lose it. And in some matchups, like Darius matchup, it was always close. If you if you were to kill the Darius, it will be like by a very small amount because you're fighting him in your wave or whatever. Um, so I decided or I realized that the more levels I have, the less nerfed is my lethal tempo and that I should probably just play for for big CS, big XP, play my game slowly, wait patiently for good plays, and then once I'm around level 9, 10, 11, and I have my crack and Slayer and Boots, now I can go for big all-ins. And one good thing about this playstyle, I talk about it during the game, it's that Adariat used to do that a lot when he was playing in very high elo. Uh, he's like probably the best French Trindemir player if he fully focuses and commits on playing Trind in solo queue. And he would like just play for 10 CS per minute perma, not trade if he knows that he's gonna base or his opponent's gonna base at some point. And doing this, the opponent is like, okay, this guy is not going crazy on me. I'm chilling, etc. And then when he knows that he's gonna win the all in for a fact, boom, he goes for it after seven, eight, ten minutes of playing super safe. So it's it's a very different gameplay of what Ranger or Ulid do because these guys try to always outplay the opponent, go for small wins, snowball from that. But pacifist trade is more like, okay, I know that I'm going to win later. At some point, I'm playing for that moment. Till that, I'm getting every single CS, every single experience. I'm chilling. So we did that against EU WXYZ, which is like one of the very best Darius player on the server. And what you're going to see. But basically, every time I did that, I had plenty of success. Hope you enjoyed the video. Much love. Oh, and also thank you for the 1k subs, it's Pog! <laughs>
maybe it's wrong, but if it's wrong, I don't want to test it in that like that kind of game. I have this shield second wind revitalize. I can afford to take it. Okay. Uh, we're actually ahead in CS, which is pretty crazy. Aha, uh -huh, go FF. Nice. By the way, guys, I mean, I, I know it because I've been watching a lot of a lot of gameplay and I've been playing a few games in very, very high elo. Um, yeah, if you guys think that when you get in GM, Chell, then people are trying, then people are doing their best. Etc. Etc. Oh no! <laughs> it never gets better. You have AFKs, you have inters, you have griefers, you have trollers, you have terrible mental. Up until, like always, basically. Yeah, he gets five stacks. I'm chilling. He won't de-shield. That's good for me. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have slow push because if he goes for a base now... We're gonna have an issue, I shouldn't have slow pushed. Should have looked to crash the wave. Now Talia is top, he's coming back with the items. The only good thing that goes in my way is the fact that I get level 6 first. But he has full tabbies. And by the way, why did I say that I'm not fighting until level 11? It's because at level 11, lethal tempo becomes the same value as before. Okay, now we're in the tough spot. So, I think that I cannot crash the wave. So instead, I will try to make him push the wave to me. How do I do that? I just make him Q me. Well, oopsie. I mean, that kind of had to happen. I'm not. I'm not shocked that this happens. Yeah, it all comes down to the fact that I I, I slow pushed my weave. Uh, now he goes for a good base, and he denies me a lot of CS, so he gets a lead. Okay. Uh, nope. 
Nice. I'll give him some time. Uh, I don't like the idea of Gromp. Okay, well that puts me back in the game. We're gonna be able to play soon. 1k. Once I have Kraken. Shit. That's why I went Noon Quiver by the way to clear the waves faster. Because then you one-shot casters with E auto. Once I have Kraken, he's in the bush. I see him with W. Um, Shut down. So, Kraken, level 11, and then I need something like an old advantage or some advantage or something, you know. Then I can, I can fight. Oh, we don't have... Put on Pantheon, but he's looking to come. I think that could work. I'm gonna just get the bone plating, you know. I'm gonna deny the plate. Scouting bushes with W. I'm actually ahead in CS. Well, I don't have the gold for Kraken. So let me go tier 2 boots. This. Okay. I'm gonna play soon. I mean, he could think that I'm not playing the game, but <laughs> is he playing the game with Ward and Tavais? Yeah, I think that most likely I'm fighting him only uh, if Gregus is around. I, am your worst nightmare. I don't like the fact that... Okay. Well, ghosted. I really didn't think she would just get one shot like this. I'm just gonna drop a ward here in, in case he, he looks to move. Oh shit, I have no ghost now. I was concerned about her being able to kite and shit, but... Guess not. Okay, scouting with W again. Okay, his base. And I can look for a plate. Maybe two even. I mean, this is actually going my way. Maybe I should play my games like this. Okay, there's actually... Uh, like, it's a playstyle. It's something that you could do. Um, I think Adaria does it a lot. French streamer and... The French best streamer player. I mean, when he's actually playing, like, right now, like, he's not tryharding the game. He's just playing normal on stream. But this guy, the way he plays, like... If he's gonna base and opponent is gonna base later, like he do just doesn't trade HP for most of the game. He seems like a pretty chill dude, and and then like opponent kind of falls asleep, like, thinks that Adariat is not a danger and that nothing is gonna happen to him, and then he goes for one big all in once he have he has the the power spike. Okay, he saw me base and then he got out of vision. So he might think that I did channel the base, so he might hard push the wave. Really good. And now I miss yours, yes. Thank you, sir.
And now we didn't feel the lethal tempo nerf at all because we never used lethal tempo. <laughs> We legit never used it. And now I'm gonna get level 11 with Kraken Slayer. Now we can talk. <laughs> so stupid. But if it works, it works, you know. Oh, can't we? Ah, he wants blue buff. Over killing Darius. Well, I, I end up using what it's called. I end up using Flash. But he uses. He uses Ghost, and I think my Ghost is better hand than. Ghost matters more than Flash in this matchup. Uh, he's gonna come back soon. I don't think I can push this wave. Okay, I can actually. Thank you for TF ult. He might look to freeze it, but if he freezes it, it means that we get Herald, basically. So I don't mind it too much. I think Navari is actually... Hmm. And if you freeze it, I'm just making a play on the map for 5v4. Don't care about missing like a wave or two. Or maybe I just solo all this. Yeah, that's why the higher you go in ELO and... And if you watch competitive, they actually don't freeze a lot. If you watch me going in a... Unranked to Masters account or something, I would freeze ton because I know that they're not gonna do anything with it like this and what we'll get with this actually all the values To raid it, yeah, take the raid. Like, okay, you're freezing top, but you're losing mid turret, and I'm still getting CS. We're making plays on the map, and you're losing tier two. It is what it is. So actually, I think still freezing is the best play for him here. But you should make sure that... Oh shit, I thought I wouldn't be in it. Doesn't have flash. That's not good. But still, we get T1, T2, we get Harold, we get a couple kills. I should have looked to dodge uh, Talia E, I could have killed her easily. I 
was gonna say Darius could be there. I should have pinged it. I should have pinged that. It's so obvious that he's coming. Why do I let them make that stupid play? I know it's stupid. That's just how you throw a game, yes. I should have just taken the blue buff. I, sh I should wait for his ult before I ult. I'm too insecure, man. I'm respecting too much. I need to be careful because the mate lock they have a tempo advantage and they know that Gregas was bot. Okay. Kiana has TP. I can give her a good TP angle. What is he doing? I guess we didn't manage to one-shot him. I really thought we would one-shot him. Uh, do we do it fast enough? Yeah, I think I think we do. I really thought he was gonna get one shot. What the fuck? Ah, he has frozen hearts and tabais. And okay, okay. So the damage comes from Gregas, but not me. It's okay. No TP. Eight, seven, six. They just respawn, but don't smite. But he doesn't have smite. What do you I mean? Don't smite. It's okay if they don't have it in TFTF, TF it's not gonna split, I think. It's likely. Bro, I'm still a bit insecure when I get in these games. When, when, when you have GM, GM, chat, GM, chat, and shit. I tend to be a bit insecure. Oh shit. Pentagon, no.
I mean, I'm pushing M13 to end. Fun fact, with the old Strindamir range, uh, you couldn't do that. You couldn't like hit one turret without getting hit by the other, unless you were on a pixel spot, like there was one spot, and you had to be exactly on top of it in order to make that work. And I actually practiced for hours to get into that spot. Then I was like, oh, maybe it's not worth it. And at the end, they buffed our range, so, <laughs> so it's not necessary anymore. But yeah, feels good that you can do it nowadays. Yeah, I think we can just rush it. I uh, need to be real quick. Uh, let's do it shit this way. I think that's the best. I think the best is actually to send my team bot and I stay mid to keep the pressure. Oh shit. Do the end from that? Okay, thank god we have TF. Well, Tarik ult. Yeah we, we, yeah, we put everything on Tarik ult. Put Kiana ult on Tarik ult. I went in on Tarik ult, we did everything on Tarik ult basically. They just not do that. Uh, maybe I should just play the side lane. I beat I beat Darius. I mean not anymore, not not now that I don't have ghost though. Shit. Also started with the Pantheon thing straight. Which didn't help. But still, I mean if we if we put everything on on their ult it's not gonna work. And also, this cuts me so hard, frozen heart. Yeah, I think they should have just also maybe pushed bot. There is not there. He has no TP. Okay, he's pacing now. Yeah, just play Nash. I need to force someone, but 5v5s are looking scary.
Okay, Italia is defending on Pantheon. So we get Nash. I don't know about that play, I think it's too risky. It's not needed. I think we should just play the map like we just did. I think that's the right that's the right play. Then you stop again, eight seconds before Drake. Oh please don't get caught. I mean, good thing that Tyreek went on me, so his ult only went on Yasuo, I think. And again, we played the map. Yeah, and that was... Nice. Well, I was still uploaded for pacifist randomer purposes. I like, the games might look a lot like this. I was actually one full item ahead at the end of the day. And I ended up winning my top lane by not playing. <laughs> So stupid, but that's that's what Trin is this day. These days, maybe, probably. I mean, I'm not completely sure. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching it. Next video is gonna be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Go to have an in-game and in real life, and I will see you next time. See you guys. Much love. Bye bye.